protest by the social justice group who call themselves the Extinction Rebellion has taken over Oxford Circus as well as many other London landmarks. The protest is estimated to have cost local businesses millions of pounds so far and has caused travel chaos for up to half a million people. Fuck off. Really? Re that's our angle, is it? Not, not the planet is in mortal danger. It's a better headline, Tim. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's the news, here's the news. Today, a bunch of crusties stinking of petunia oil are upset because the planet is dying. But worse than that, the protest has mildly disrupted shoppers trying to get to H&M to buy an item of fast fashion clothing that will end up in landfill in about a week. The government are doing nothing because the government is hardwired to protect animal farming corporations, oil companies and anyone with more than a million pounds in the bank before it protects its citizens and its environment. So when it comes to global warming, the media isn't going to deny it. We're merely going to present it in abstract terms, saying things like a temperature rise of up to two degrees Celsius by 2025, because that sounds almost pleasant and isn't going to cause a panic which might make people curb their consumerism and demand that their leaders take action. Speaking of which, Environment Minister Michael Gove, a man with a face that looks like a mass extinction, said, we've got the message. Have you? You've, you've got the message? Oh, that's all right then. Come on, guys, you can all go home now, because Michael Gove says the government has got the message. He also said that he understood that action needs to be taken. Well, when? When I was being taught about the greenhouse gases and the destruction of the rainforests when I was at school 25 years ago. To be fair, I wasn't really listening. I just discovered wanking. But what have you done in the preceding 25 years? Exactly when is this action going to be taken? Well, we've banned microbeads in face wash, so we're well on the way then. Moving on, Notre Dame was saved, yeah. Look at the people who risked their lives to save the treasures inside. Look how much money this oil conglomerate donated to save and rebuild it. Not so quick when it comes to saving natural treasures like the Great Barrier Reef, are you? Not pumping very much dirty oil money into that particular conservation project, are you? No, you're just pumping actual oil. You can rebuild a cathedral in five years. You don't get a chance to rebuild this one okay this is the news okay this is the real news in my lifetime half of the world's wildlife has been wiped off the face of the earth even if you are some climate change denying nut job you can't deny that biodiversity is essential for all life on earth including ours and the rate at which we are destroying habitats and polluting the oceans constitutes a mass extinction right now. That is the fact of the matter. The fact of the matter is that annoying as these tree huggers might seem, peaceful civil disobedience has a history of changing minds and government policy. It works. Women's rights, gay rights, human rights. The headlines tonight, we are experiencing the sixth mass extinction in Earth's history and it's not too late to do something about it. In other news, some Londoners had a hard time getting to work today. Yeah, that's, that's it, I'm done. It stinks of petunia oil around here.